Hi, this is Landon Bryce from ThoughtCast, and I'm super excited, and because um, I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite movies, and um, I'm uh, going to be super flappy and super gay-seeming, because I'm also going to be talking about applied behavior analysis. Um, so, favorite movie, Stepford Wives, 1975. Wow, what a great movie. Did you see it yet? Um, you can actually just watch the whole thing on YouTube, and I'm going to be talking about spoilers in the scenes below or spoilers, so you know what? Just go watch the whole movie first if you haven't seen it, or it's one of those few movies, by the way, that's better than the book. A um, couple of, both, I think, of the really major Ayer Lovelands, that's true. He's a really fantastic idea guy, but not necessarily such a great writer. Anyway, um, but, wow. Um, so, okay, so if you haven't seen the movie, um, and you don't want to watch the whole thing, blah, 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 I'll just really quickly ruin the whole story for you. All right, so there's this, um, modern woman um, who's a photographer who moves with her husband to this suburb and um, they um, and she discovers that all of the women there are very strange they they, they wear makeup uh, full makeup all the time to the supermarket they wear these long flowing gowns um, and it turns out um, that what's happened is that all of the men in the town <laughs> have replaced their wives with robots um, they're uh, the, the, the guys who did the Pirates of the Caribbean <laughs> from Disney <laughs> moved into this neighborhood and decided it'd be just be you know, handier to simply have robots for wives rather than real women and so the story is about how this, this woman um confronts the situation, uh, and uh, the, the, the really fantastic scene is uh, her best friend, who was uh, even more rebellious and spunky and delightful and funny uh, than she was, played by Paula Prentice, who's just a, a great actress, especially in this film. Um, and um, so her friend, who was once really great, has now become uh, one of these uh, Stepford wives, and, um, and like... Um, <sighs> And, of course, uh, the power of the film comes from, it's just, it's such a brilliant metaphor for um, what people in the 1970s were thinking about the role of women in society, about how um, a couple of different forces, number one, um, these uh, women uh, were rightly seeking to have careers, uh, were seeking to have... Um, lives that went um, beyond the kitchen and the bedroom. And um, so that was part of what was happening. But at the same time, we were seeing also uh, an increasingly... Uh, uh, the advertising was really pushing people into smaller and smaller and smaller boxes. And so the satire of the film is really both about the, the, the role of women and about the, the role of advertising uh, in popular culture. Um, now, and I think probably that there are still a lot of women who can relate to uh, the final scene of, um, which um, shows uh, our heroine um, in a supermarket and um, amongst all the Stepford wives, and now she is one of them. Um, and it's this total loss of personal identity to this to a man's idea of what a woman should be, and of course she's not even there anymore. She is, she's a robot, um, and I think we still see women putting them into putting themselves into tiny little boxes, uh, and I think we see tremendous pressure for women to go backwards into boxes that they were supposed to be in in the, ba in the past. What does this have to do with applied behavior analysis? Well, first of all, um, I will absolutely recommend to any parent uh, that applied behavior analysis is a therapy they explore with their child if their child is profoundly affected by autism, especially if they are nonverbal. It is um, absolutely the, the technique that has been found to be most effective. But you have to be very careful that um, what you're using are the techniques of applied behavior analysis and not the goals of applied behavior analysis. Um, uh, Ivar Lovas um, 
was one of a group of very extreme behaviorists um, whose work has really in many ways uh, dominated uh, the, the last 50 years in many ways. Um, and behaviorism has been incredibly powerful uh, in the fields of education, the fields of psychology, and in the fields of advertising. Um, and there, I think, is, is partly where I see the link to Stepford Wives, is that um, behaviorism is, is, is the idea that people don't have an inside. Um, you know, uh, Skinner's book, Beyond Freedom and Dignity, is quite sincere. Um, the radical behaviorists, um, and, and, and love us is, is, is certainly among them, simply deny the reality of an inner human being. Um, they say that a human being is their actions, is their behaviors. Um, and thus the Stepford wife is actually, if she is a better mother, if she is a more effective mate to her spouse, um, from a behavior from a behaviorist perspective, is perhaps and especially if she herself is is happy, um, is perhaps not um, not a bad trade off. So, uh, I assume if you follow me, or you're aware of the fact that um, in addition to uh, the work that he did with autism, Lovas also worked with homosexuality or with effeminacy, as it was called, um, within boys, um, and um, and and did things that were really quite abusive. Um, I'll, I'll link to the CNN story on that. You can look at that. Um, so again, when you're looking at applied behavior analysis, it's very important that you remember that your child um, or that you have an inner reality. You have what religious people would call a soul. You have individuality. Um, it is not a laudable goal to make you indistinguishable from your peers, as Lova said, and as the men who planned the Stepford community wanted, right? They wanted women who were indistinguishable from their peers. Um, Okay. Again, uh, as I as I said in another video I made, it doesn't matter to them how they kill the part of you that's different, so long as they do. You know, if you're like Paul Apprentice and the Stepford Wives, a a slob in a neighborhood where everybody keeps their lawn neat, if they have to replace you with a robot in order to, um, to get you to do what they want you to do, uh, they'll do that. Um, so, my point, I guess, is that I hope, um, I hope that some of the, some of the parents, especially some of the moms who maybe don't understand the angry reaction that that autistic people, some autistic people, have to ABA. Um, for 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 me as an educator, it just comes from the knowledge that um, that that, it, that I think philosophy matters. I think that um, that that you are going to behave in line with the the philosophy of your uh, of what you're doing, and I think the the real denial. Of, of an autistic self, an inner, an inner self, uh, a gay self, a self, um, something that goes beyond your behavior, um, that that's really central to, uh, to Lovas's work, and I think as a result, although you, you, you do probably need to use the techniques of, behavior, of applied behavior analysis, you simply be, need to be very wary of the messages that it may be sending you about, uh, about what a person is. So, um, bye.